I'm Marcus Blake with That Nerd Show, and we are with Hunter Carson, talking about the award that's named after his father. So uh, we gotta we gotta ask. Uh, David Gordon Green is the recipient this year. What makes him stand out as a filmmaker worthy of this award? Yeah, fluidity. I, I would say fluidity. With David Gordon Green, he has moved from his raw independent right into the Hollywood scene. Goes straight back to that raw independent mindset. He's a creator. Uh, he's working on so many features and recreating. Well, from what from what I remember, is the classic that used to scare the pants off of me. Um, you know what? He's funny. He's talented. And like I said, he's fluid. He knows what he's doing. When right. he's in Hollywood, he knows what he's doing when he's outside of Hollywood. Is there a particular film of his that you really like? Like your favorite film? My favorite film is Pineapple Express. I, I gotta say, I mean, I, I know that's kitsch. Uh, you know, Joe's fantastic. Yes, yes it was, which um, was here a few years ago. And when you look at those two films, you really can see that he moves from the dark subjects right, right into the very silly, funny subjects. Cool. You know? Now, Hunter, uh, do you have any projects coming up that you can talk about? You know, we just got done shooting a short film that is part of an ongoing series of comic books called The Rusty Revolver. Oh, see? Now you have our attention. <laughs> Being at that nerd show. Oh, yeah. We, we, we have been developing a six series of comics. I'm sorry. We've been developing a six episode series of comics called Rusty Revolver. Uh, these guys I work with in Los Angeles called Sumo Jack. Okay. We got the artwork in and what we're doing now is we're shooting each comic book as it comes out and it's a really great fan-based phenomenon. The more you like the comic, the more you order the comic, the more of the visual we put out there. All right, well that sounds like something that's right up uh, the alley of our audience. So, now, you do this every year. We have a new nerdy question for you. I hope you're prepped. So we want to know, speaking of superheroes, comics and stuff, if you could have a superpower yourself, Hunter, what would it be and why? My very own superpower. Gosh. <laughs> I know, there's so many to choose from. I'm telling you. Well, but you got to make your own up, right? Because sure. invent, invent my own superpower. I guess it would be... Um, I guess I would be... Um, Super independent film man. I would fight for truth and justice in the independent film world. I would leap tall buildings to make sure that all the indie artists got their vision out there and told their stories. That would be my superpower. I think that's a great superpower. Of course, the other one too is can you remember everybody's name at a film festival? Which we had someone tell us this week. I have no idea who's here. Well, I'm really glad you came <laughs> I know, right? So, we well, we can't wait play. for uh, the comic book series. Like I said, that sounds very exciting. And uh, good luck with it. And thanks for uh, interviewing with us again this year. Absolutely. Oh, flying, yes, would be awesome. But I, it's kind of a cop out. I would teleporting. And if I could teleporting, I would immediately remake the movie Jumper. Right. Uh, this <laughs> I know. <laughs> Thanks, Hunter.